Hello and welcome to InfoWide. Doctors have identified seven signs that you may have had COVID-19 without realizing it. And here are the following. Number one is you had a bad cold. People thought COVID-19 didn't start circulating in the United States until late February or early March of 2020. According to new research from the University of Texas, this is not the case. Scientists examine throat swabs taken from people with suspected flu cases on that winter for the study. These swabs were taken in Wuhan, China, the origin of the novel coronavirus, and Seattle, Washington, where the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in the U.S. The researchers discovered that there was one case of COVID-19 for every two cases of the flu. As a result, they believe COVID-19 arrived in the United States around Christmas. Because it took longer to reach rural areas, if you were on a farm on winter and had the sniffles, you most likely had a cold. If you lived in New York City or another major city, you could have had a COVID infection and not realized it. Without a test, it can be difficult to distinguish a cold from a mild form of COVID-19, but colds don't typically cause shortness of breath, severe headaches, or gastrointestinal symptoms, as COVID-19 can. The COVID-19 official symptoms are as follows, Washington, D.C., where the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in the U.S. Fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or a runny nose, nausea or vomiting, and diarrhea. Number 2 is you lost your sense of smell or taste at one point. COVID-19 has been characterized by a loss of smell and taste. While this symptom does not affect everyone, but doctors believe it is now strongly linked to the novel coronavirus. According to preliminary data, from the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery, 27% of COVID-19 patients who lost their sense of smell, improved within 7 days, with the majority improving within 10 days. It's also worth noting that other respiratory conditions, such as cold, flu, sinus infection, or even seasonal allergies, can cause temporary loss of these senses. However, experts say that the symptom can linger in some people for months after they recover from COVID-19. Number 3 is, you've been dealing with unexplained hair loss. This hasn't been studied extensively in the context of COVID-19 but many people who have recovered from the virus, are experiencing hair loss. Members of Survivor Corps, a Facebook support group for COVID-19 patients, have also mentioned experiencing hair loss, months after recovering from the virus. Telogen effluvium is the cause, and it can be caused by a variety of factors, including pregnancy, extreme stress, weight loss, and illnesses other than COVID-19. It is unlikely that you would simply lose more hair than usual if you did not have other COVID-19 symptoms such as cough or fever. It's also important to note that hair loss can be caused by stress in general, and the pandemic has caused a lot of stress. If you're losing hair, it could be due to an unknown COVID infection, a buildup of stress during stressful times, or another underlying issue. Number 4 is, you feel breathless sometimes. According to a study published in the journal JAMA, people who have COVID-19 can experience virus-related symptoms, such as shortness of breath. It's unclear why or how long this will last at this point, but it's most likely due to long-term inflammation in the lungs. This is one of the well-known long-term effects in people who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. If you have this, it's possible that your previous illness was caused by COVID. If you have shortness of breath, consult your primary care physician, or request a referral to a pulmonologist. They can frequently prescribe medications, and treatments, such as an inhaler, that can be beneficial. Number 5 is, you have a cough that will not go away. Another symptom mentioned by participants in the JAMA study was a persistent cough. The cough is frequently dry, which means, that no phlegm or mucus is produced. This is quite common, according to COVID data, 43% of people with COVID-19 had a cough, 14 to 21 days after testing positive for the virus. Number 6, is you're really, really tired. 
According to the JAMA study, this is one of the most serious long-term effects of COVID-19. According to the findings of that study, 53% of patients reported fatigue, 60 days after first showing signs of the virus. We're seeing some people who had mild illness, who had fatigue for a while. It's not clear why this happens right now. It could be due to how a person's immune system reacts to the virus, or it could simply be due to how the virus functions in the body. Remember that, fatigue is a very common problem, that can indicate a variety of health problems, including, of course, not getting enough sleep. People who experience fatigue, as a result of COVID-19, would have previously experienced other symptoms of the virus. Number 7 is, you have unusual symptoms, that seem to be lasting forever. Experts stress that, COVID-19 is still a new virus, so doctors and scientists, are learning more about it all the time. Research on lasting effects of the virus is ongoing, and it's difficult for doctors to say at this time, that having certain symptoms could mean, you had a COVID-19 infection, while others don't. It's worth noting that some people, have had heart problems, after contracting the virus. A small study of 100 people, who recovered from COVID-19, published in JAMA Cardiology, performed MRIs on former patients, and discovered that 78% had some kind of abnormal heart finding, regardless of any pre-existing conditions. The researchers discovered that, this did not appear to be related to the severity of the illness. This could manifest in a variety of ways, including random heart palpitations, but it could also be unnoticeable. Of course, there are numerous other complications, that experts may not even be aware of. If you've been feeling off, and your symptoms persist, it is recommended seeing a doctor, whether or not you suspect it's related to COVID-19. It's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe.